The newest addition to the 4 star roster is here. Charlotte is a Cryo Catalyst user, mostly built around support and healing. This video will discuss her best weapons, artifacts, and team comps. Starting with weapons, Charlotte's best in slot is Favonius Codex, as it helps out her own energy issues, alongside the rest of the teams. Her 80 energy burst cost could be a problem in some situations. Alternative options are Oath Sworn Eye or Prototype Amber. Oath Sworn Eye is an old event weapon, so not everyone will have it, but it's a very strong 4 star option as it provides 48% energy reach charge at R5 from the passive and 27.6 attack percent at level 90. Prototype Amber will be the best option for the most healing as the passive, especially at R5, is very strong. Although the HP percent stat is useless as her healing scales on attack. If you don't have any of those options, then Skyward Atlas from the standard banner is a decent attack stat stick and TTDS is a strong support option if you want to strengthen your other characters. Now for Charlotte's ideal artifact sets and stats. So there are two ways to build her, either as a support or a healer. Tenacity and Noblesse can be used for a team-wide buff. Both of these sets provide buffs based on a skill-focused playstyle for Tenacity or a burst-focused playstyle for Noblesse. If you want to improve her healing, then 4 piece Maiden Beloved is by far her best option. Now, the main stats you generally want to aim for is Energy Recharge or Attack Percent for the Sands. You only need an ER Sands if she's struggling, otherwise Attack Percent is much better. For the Goblet, Attack Percent is the only usable main stat, nothing else comes close. And finally, the Circlet should always be Healing Bonus. This build allows her to heal the best. As for the substats to go for, Charlotte only wants Energy Recharge if you really need it, otherwise Attack Percent is the only stat you want to aim for. Try to stack as much attack as possible. If you're using Favonius, then crit rate could also be helpful. If you're trying to build a sub DPS Charlotte, then just aim for a general damage build with attack percent sands, cryo damage goblet, and then crit on the circlet with as much ER substats as possible. Now finally onto her best team comps. So Charlotte's best teammate is Farina. They pair really well together as Charlotte can provide a decent team white heal which complements Farina's kit alongside them being Hydra and Cryo for freeze. A strong Charlotte freeze team comp would be Nuvulet, Farina, and Kazua although she can be used in any combination for freeze as it's Charlotte's ideal and strongest archetype. But considering she's a support healer she could be used in any team comp as long as her cryo application doesn't ruin the team's reactions. So that's it for the Charlotte quick guide. It's a really good thing that she's on Farina's banner because those two together actually work surprisingly well. Even though Charlotte isn't one of the best healers, Farina gives a lot of value to her, especially when freeing up that support slot in her teams. Also, Farina's banner has been out for a while, so I hope everyone got what they wanted. Uh, I got a little more than what I wanted, but still no Charlotte.